Hello, it's Stu here from DIYmusic.co.uk with another FL Studio quick tip. And this is number six, which is using Smart Disable on your plugins. And what this can do is help uh, if you're having maybe CPU prod, uh, problems. Um, you can reduce the load on your CPU by using this little trick. And it's uh, I'm going to show you something. Uh, I've got some effects on uh, a little loop. So basically, we've got a delay and a reverb send on a couple of instruments here. I'll just play you so you can see how they work. Now you can hear they're still going, even though I've stopped playing. And um, of course, by doing that, they're using up CPU. And what you can do is uh, you can go into an individual effect and um, in the pull down menu, you can choose Smart Disable. And what that does is tell FL Studio to basically just switch off that effect when it thinks it's not needed. So we should find with that one now, if I just, uh, what I'll do, I'll just put the tone on and, uh, and then I'll stop it. And you'll hopefully see that instead of just carrying on forever, it gives up after a while because it thinks it's not, not uh, any use anymore. Here we go. There you go. Did you see that? It just cut off after a few seconds. Um, so what that will do is uh, a lot of plugins, they can actually start really eating up your CPU, especially delays, reverbs, anything that has a kind of long tail to it or anything that's constantly running even when it's not in use. And you can find as you build up a project, these effects start to uh, take away a little bit, use up a bit more and a bit more and a bit more CPU until you find you're at 100% and you're having real problems uh, because your, your computer can't handle everything. And what you'll find by using Smart Disable is uh, you will not use up quite so much CPU. And one extra thing instead of uh, actually going in and switching on Smart Disable for every effect that you use, FL Studio gives you a macro up here in Tools and Macros and switch Smart Disable for all plugins. So to save you doing them one at a time, you can just click that. And now it should have also put that on for my my reverb. So there you go. Smart Disable is now on. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Anyway, that is it, basically. So tools, macros, switch Smart Disable for all plugins and watch your CPU just drop because suddenly it's not needing to run for things that it doesn't need to run for. So I uh, hope that helps and there'll be more FL Studio quick tips on the way. Uh, just subscribe to my YouTube channel and also check out my website, which is uh, diymusic.co.uk uh, for more FL Studio and home studio and bedroom producery type stuff. So I'll see you around. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.